and Harson both went to Capitol High School, where Harson played backup to Plummer, who eventually went on to star at Arizona State and played 10 seasons in the NFL. Though Plummer's playing days are over, he is still paying attention to college football and to his backup QB and what he's doing on the sidelines with Boise State. I think he's a great coach. Great guy first and foremost and a funny dude, a good friend. We go way back to Little League and uh, I'm just super happy for him to be here. What a great spot for him. I think, you know, he took a little flack for last year, but uh, I think he's a really, really good coach that uh, I hope is here for a long time. Coach Harson is entering his fourth year with the Broncos and is coming off a 10-win season. As usual, the Broncos will have high expectations and hopefully get back to the Mountain West title game, where they've been absent since Harson's first season. But if you ask Jake the Snake, they don't need to worry and just play their game. They're a great football team. I mean, they're one of the best programs in the country. So the expectations are, are already there. It's just uh, enjoying the ride is what I tell fans. Enjoy the ride. Even if they lose, enjoy it. Watch them bounce back. It's fun to watch a team come back, show their strength and their, their perseverance. And speaking of the team, Plummer has high praise for Boise State's quarterback, Brett Rippon. I really like his style. I've seen him throw some amazing balls on time into some nice tight windows. Uh, for him, it's, you know, and for a lot of these young quarterbacks, it's cut, trying to cut them loose. You know, let them play and not worry so much about making a mistake because sure. mistakes will be made. I made a ton even at the pro level. It's how you bounce back from those mistakes. Rippon is coming off a season where he threw for nearly 3,400 yards and had 20 touchdowns. However, the past two seasons, he's thrown eight interceptions. With that said, Plummer says Rippon needs to continue to take chances when he's out on the field. If you never throw that interception, it means you didn't try. And I know, you know that may go against a lot of coaching, but as a player, you're the one pulling the trigger. So for him, it's just pull that trigger, trust your teammates. If you throw three picks, don't worry, they'll rally behind you and, and you'll pull out a win somehow, hopefully.